Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsblog.com and in this video I will show you how to add colors between two points of a kernel density plot in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the data that we can create with lines 2 and 3 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that a new vector object appears at the top right of RStudio which is called X. And we can also print this vector object to the RStudio console at the bottom and then you can see that this vector consists of 1000 randomly distributed values whereby these values follow a normal distribution. Now if we want to plot a density of these values then we first need to apply the density function as you can see in line 5 of the code. And in this case we are storing the values of this density in the data object dense x. So if you run this line of code you will see that a new data object appears at the top right which is called dense x. And now we can also plot this density by applying the plot function as you can see in line 7 of the code. So if you run this line of code you will see that at the bottom right in RStudio a new plot is drawn and this plot is showing the density of our data. Now if we want to add some color between certain points of this density then we need to specify the positions of these points on the x-axis and this is what we are doing in lines 9 and 10 of the code. So in these two lines we are specifying the lower limit of the area where we want to show some color. In this case I'm using the lower limit minus 0.5 and then we also need to specify the upper limit and in this case we are using the upper limit 1. Yeah, and then with the remaining code of lines 9 and 10 we are specifying at which position of our density this area starts and ends. So if you run these two lines of code you will see that two new data objects appear at the top right which are called x high and x low and these two data objects are defining our upper and lower limits of the area below which we want to put the color. Yeah, and then we can draw the color with the code that you can see in lines 12 to 15. So in these lines of code we are using the with function then within the with function we are specifying our density object that we have defined before in line 5 of the code and then we are applying the polygon function as you can see in lines 13 to 15 and within the polygon function we need to specify our lower and upper limits on the x and y axis and then we also need to specify the color that we want to show below this area and in this case I'm using this color code. So if you run lines 12 to 15 of the code you will see that at the bottom right of our studio some color is added to our plot and as you can see this color is shown exactly between our lower and upper limits minus 0.5 and 1. So in this video you have learned how to add color between two points of a kernel density plot in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new R programming tutorials to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.